Yo, what's going on you guys? Angry Cooler here, back out with another YouTube video for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And today we're going to be playing on my Mel Earthling Stone Lee. Now I haven't done a video on this guy in forever. I don't even remember the last time I used him, okay? Um, but yeah, we got a combo suggested by Tecna SSJ or Tecna Super Saiyan. Um, pretty cool username. Now for the outfit and stuff, I'm going to be wearing, you know, Stone Lee's regular outfit. Here's the Kiki Bang, which I don't even remember how I made the Kiki Bang. But it's pretty good. We got plus four in strike supers, plus five in key and stamina, and then plus one in health. So my health doesn't take a big hit. We're gonna be using the Zeal. You're just piecing this game because we're gonna go full on damage. We don't really need. So now it's my turn with this combo. So yeah, we're gonna be using that because it's an XL boost in melee skills. And we're gonna also gonna be bringing meditation just because it'll help us gain key over time faster. We're gonna bring meteor blow, sledgehammer, final blow, and then victory rush. Now. Those are the moves he suggested, Meter Blow, Sledgehammer, Final Blow, and Video Rush. I'm going to bring Time Skip Molotov just because if I need it, I'll use it. And I'll use Meditation to help me gain key. I'm going to bring a Potential Unleashed. That way we do a little bit more damage whenever you know we're transformed. It'll also help us gain more key faster. And then we're also going to bring Vanisher Guard because favorite race in the game. Now I'll show you guys what the combo looks like in training. Alright guys, so this is what the combo is going to look like. You're going to wither down your opponent's Thanos Lotus to break. Once that has happened, you're going to go for a Stamina Break. Meteor Blow, Sledgehammer, Final Blow, and then Victory Rush. Now it does pretty good damage. I don't have your just pieces in the well, your just pieces in the game just activated. If it was activated a little bit before beforehand, it would have probably done about maybe 16,000 damage. And then if you put potential unleash on top of that, probably about 17k damage. So yeah, that's a pretty good combo, Techna. Uh, um, thank you for just in the combo. Now we're gonna go in the rank and see if we can land this combo. Alright, so we are going against a Super Saiyan 4 Goku with one bar connection, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Now I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and, and hypothesize right now that we won't be able to land the combo because of the fact that since this person has a one bar, Meteor Blow won't work, right? You know, I won't teleport to wherever they're flying towards. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to say that now. It may happen though. Prove me wrong, Xenoverse. Go ahead. This guy doesn't seem too interested in fighting me either. I don't know what he what he's doing. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn potential unleashed. Don't know how that hit me if I jumped to the side, but it did. The connection isn't too bad, it's you can deal with it, it isn't too terrible. It's just a little weird. Like I'm getting hit by Goku's tail or something like that whenever I'm behind him. This guy likes to key blast stun and cancel. See there there it is right there. Oh, yep, see, I knew it. It didn't really connect. And that didn't even hit him. I'm gonna try to go ahead and just end this match now. I could try again, but I know it's not gonna work. I was going to try to like finish him off with Sledgehammer real quickly, but... I got another Clash, that's cool I guess. Oh... Well there's a Limb Burst. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. Oh, that was a pretty good finish. Um, GG. That match was really weird. I knew it was. I called it right at the beginning that Meteor Blow wasn't gonna work. And I probably should have just kicked this dude before I fought him, but I figured why not? It'd be a little bit interesting. So, yeah, GG. On to the next match. Alright, so we have found another opponent. This time we're going against a male Saiyan. This guy also uh, has a one bar, so this could be interesting as well. We got a clash. Pretty nice. We're getting some key from that.
Alright. There's his super armor. Well, my limit burst didn't knock him away because of his super armor, so that's not good. I don't know how that didn't land. I was hoping my Luniverse has stayed active just a little bit longer. Go ahead and end this game. How did not land? Alright, so we finished him off with final blow as well. Thank God I timed that hit right to get the clash, or he probably would have beat me. So yeah, GG, on to the next match. Today must be one bar Monday because for some reason everybody I run into has a one bar. It might be me, so maybe my connection is just trash. This guy is charging up his key, so I'm gonna let him go ahead and charge. He has, I believe, 10 bars of key, so maybe he's gonna try to pull off a pretty sick combo, and that'll be pretty interesting to see. Um, but yeah. Whoa. The man tried to sneak up on me, hit me with the heavy hit. I hate how you deflect key blast from behind. Got another class. We don't really need classes anymore. Key blast done it. Oh, snap vanishing. Damn, feel bad, bro. Feels bad. And meteor blow doesn't work. Damn, I think he gave up when that whiff. Oh, then he's actually trying to fight. Alright, so we got another game with a one bar and a meter blow won't work. It might be my connection day. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, roast anybody saying their connection is bad. It might, it just, it just the universe is giving them a one bar. Sometimes it may be the servers. But yeah, that was a pretty good game. It seemed like the guy kind of gave up after his final shine attack whiffed. I can understand, bro. Feels bad. But yeah, on to the next match, GG. This time we're going against a female Majin. And I'm going to go ahead and say it now. It's probably not going to happen. Um, because of the fact that since me female Majin get their center broken, if a female Majin gets their stamina broken, they regain stamina a lot faster than, let's say, like a male Saiyan, for example. So, and plus, I didn't even bring it down to my turn. So, yeah, I'm going to say we're not even going to land in that right now. This guy seems pretty good, too. 
Oh, that ain't on crash. Alrighty. Oh shit, that shit came all the way across the map. And I just snap right into him. Ah, there's a super armor. I'm gonna say now this guy kind of is borderline and cheesing me, trying to go for grabs all all the time and spam it on crash. Look at that, trying to grab me, and he's the one with super armor. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. That guy just loved grabbing me. So yeah, that's that game. Uh, not gonna say GG to that. And yeah, on to the next match. Alright, so we have found another opponent. This time we're going against a male Saiyan. Oh, what the? Did not mean to go for that. Connection's kind of messing him up. Alright, so I tried to do it again right there, but I was in potential at least and just doing way too much damage. It's like, this combo seems really easy to land, but it seems like Xenomar just does not want me to land this combo today. So we're going to try again in the next match. Alright, so we have found another opponent. This time we're going against a male sand. Oh, I was hoping the final blow would turn around right there, but we gotta set a look. That's a pretty nice combo. Putting that Z sword to work. Did too much damage, it's over. Rip. I 
can't believe that somehow managed to work, but I'm still gonna say GG. I think that would have look, looked a lot cleaner if he would actually use the Z sword, but I don't know why Xenoverse always makes you use the like like Tapion sword or uh, Janimba sword if you use Janimba's Rock's Claw. But yeah, GG, that guy's pretty good. Alright, so we have found another opponent. Please let me land this combo. Oh, got me with a grab. GG. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna go for meditation. He may catch with his. Oh, never mind. This will help me gain some keys, so. Yeah. Damn, but then I'm gonna do that. I don't want to perfect block this dude. Why are you kidding me? Alright, so yeah, that's basically the only possible way I could probably have landed that combo today. Um, it seems like everybody I run into, or maybe just need a versus server today. Meteor Blow won't really connect, so what I did was I just used Sledgehammer, and then I waited for him to hit the ground because it was just a little bit high up. Then I tried to go for Final Blow, um, Final Blow with for some reason, like he was moving or anything like that. And then after the Final Blow, I went for Victory Rush. So I can say we kind of landed the combo, then this guy rage quit. Um, but, you know, with Meteor Blow, and sometimes you have to have, you have to fight someone with like, you need to fight someone with a green bar, and then Meteor Blow will work. But I didn't want to risk it and not work. So I decided to go for that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, sorry I couldn't really land the real combo, but I mean, I can say I kind of did. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and comment down below a combo you want me to use. That's kind of like the only issue with the combo, which is Meteor Blow. If you find someone a good connection a lot, then or if you have better internet than I do, maybe Meteor Blow works all the time for you. But for the most part, it doesn't really work every time I use it. So yeah. See you guys in the next Dragon Ball University video. Peace.